The dark and disturbing world of internet child abuse. It's a problem many of us think is impossible to deal with because of the sheer number of images and websites hidden inside the World Wide Web. In fact, new research shows it's a much smaller problem. We're not saying there's any reduction in, in abuse or in any of these sorts of things. We, we, we're not aware of that. What we know about is websites, and we're saying once you get past the numbers of images, you get past the number of individual web pages, what we're talking about is a manageable number of websites. There are less than 3,000 websites which are the core of the problem. Less than 1% of them are hosted in the United Kingdom, and 80% are commercial operations. The biggest problem is these websites hop from region to region and from country to country, making it almost impossible for them to be caught. But the IWF says if the rest of the world follow the UK's example, these websites can be traced, tracked and shut down. We need a holistic approach to attack this. I chair an international collaboration involving America, Canada, Australia, Italy, Interpol and the UK, where we bring together law enforcement and we have begun tracking these people down. We know who they are, they move. We will follow them and we will find them. And when we do, we will hold them to account. All the groups involved in hunting, stopping and prosecuting those involved in sharing or selling these images agree a coordinated effort between the public and industry could bring an end to the menace of internet child abuse altogether. And the message to those people behind the websites is a simple one. If you haven't been caught yet, you will be soon. Angela Corp, Sky News.